Hey guys, Ed here, Top of the Line Training. As you know, I'm getting ready for my 10 day hunt uh, in the mountains. And um, one of those items I needed to get for this trip was the Kafaru Sawtooth Tent slash teepee and the cylinder stove, 18 inch. Let's open it up and check it out. It says right here, do not use, do not open with sharp cut. Uh, object. So I'm using my training knife. Punch through that uh, scotch tape there. Packing tape, whatever you want to call it. Alright, put this away. Um, so Comes packaged very well. Little wrap here. This is the uh, liner. This is the saw tube tent itself. Whoa! This is the poles, which is two poles, one in the middle, or one towards the front, the taller one, and the short one in the back. This is the stakes. This is the seam seal uh, for the tent. And that being said, I'm going to leave this in here, this part in here for now. And then you have packing this as well. Uh, so let's talk about the tent. Now what I'm going to do guys, this is just a quick out of the box show and tell real quick. Um, but. What I'm going to do is tomorrow I'm supposed to rain this ass off just about all day, so it won't be happening tomorrow, maybe Sunday. So what I'm going to do is get this out, show you how it sets up with all the components. Uh, this is the tent, I said, this is the liner. And the liner is used uh, to cut down condensation in the tent because it's a single wall tent. And, you know, it will condensate, however, it will build up condensation, but I'll be running this, the uh, cylinder stove, and that should help with that quite a bit. We'll have to see how it works. Stake holes, or tent holes, and then the stakes. Self-explanatory, pretty much. So that's that part of it, okay? Now I want to say something. This tent right here cost about... Uh, don't quote me on this, but it's around eight bills. Um, it is an awesome tent. It is a floorless tent. And so you're gonna have to put down some piece of tie back or something, some kind of uh, tarp or something, no problem. But uh, what I wanna talk about here, it comes with seam seal. And the reason it comes with seam seal is because you have to, the, con the consumer, the buyer has to, has to do that. 800 bucks for a tent. I don't know. I know there's other tents out there way more expensive, etc., etc. I know, but it just seems to me that they could take some time and seal the uh, tapes on it, but, uh, or seam seal it. But it is what it is, and I will be doing a video on that as well. So I'll be doing a setup video as well as a liner uh, install and a seam seal video how to do it because there's only uh, the one on there Patrick Smith does it uh, the owner or president or whatever he is of Kafaru and he does a real good job on us so check it out I'll be re looking at that video again I just want to put it out one from the consumers point of following his directions and the directions here and we'll see how it goes so that is the tent that being said more bubble wrap and here we have the 18 inch for a minute nothing else so here we have this 18 inch cylinder stove comes in this nice uh, package as well what's pretty cool is I'm, I'm only guessing it does have two four, four loops on it so you could probably just tie that to outside of your bag if you wanted to without worrying about um, putting it in your bag and crushing it or something like that. I don't know. Let's open it up. Check it out. Now, 
one note on this. Uh, uh, rumor has it that messing around. I watched a few things. Whoa, whoa, Colonel, whoa. It's coming out right now. See, rumor has it that it's easy to get cut on this stuff here. I don't know if that's true, but I can see just that part's crimped in. It looks like but right here, that seems like it's good. Cutting. Okay, so I believe that's the stove part right here. I think anyway. Yeah. Oh, baby. Well, this is how it comes out. You just need to pull it out. I just don't want to. I don't think you can really. Well, I don't know why the hell it's set up like this. This could be the chimney though, I think. So I thought when I've seen them before when they're packaged and come in, they're nicely wound and whatnot. So I, I don't know. That is the chimney. This is the stove I believe right here. So but I like I said, you see how I pulled that out. It just started unraveling. Could have been packaged a little bit better. Whatever. But this is the chimney part. Just set that to the side there. Here's the stove. Boom. Uh, I'm not sure if that crimps into that part of it or not. I know that these ties here, these uh, wire ties, so it'll probably be beneficial. I don't know, but it will probably benefit be beneficial to bring a little bit of extra wire with you because, to be honest with you, I can see these breaking. I don't know what it's made out of. But after twisting and turning, it could be that one time, maybe the third time you use it, snap, and uh, could be in a world of hurt. But anyway, um, okay, that's that part of it. So that's the stove, that's the chimney. And uh, here's a bunch of other crap over. Look in here. This is the, I'm not sure of the name or what the hell they call it. But basically, once you get the stove together like so, this will sit down in here somewhere, and then that allow, like a, a chimney adapter or something like that, will allow the chimney to fit into or on top of the stove. And then here, as Aaron Snyder put down, Aaron Snyder does put out a couple of videos on putting this thing together, and um, they're pretty good. So, but I'm gonna, again, put it together as, you're seeing what I'm getting here. Oh, Colonel. Okay, so here is what he explained basically is a pie plate. You could eat dinner off of that if you wanted to. I'm just kidding, but, <clears throat> but yeah, that's what they call it, the pie plate. Okay, so, these are dampers. I'm not sure about those either. Well, anyway, long story short, this would be the front. I'm not sure. I think it goes this way. And this would be the back. So, and so there's your stove put together. These wires go thread through, and then you have your cylinder. And these fit under the lip here, I believe. And, oh, they do provide some gloves here to handle this thing. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, then you have, um, I think these are like cinch wires for the chimney. Once you get it set to a certain uh, size, you take these and put down on top of it. It holds it into that cylinder shape. Now, I'm not sure what the hell that might be extra wire. Hell, I don't know. I might want to read the directions. <clears throat> they gave me a nice sticker as well. Uh, seems like all, I just this is my third box from Kafaru. And everything I've gotten is always has a sticker in it, so that's pretty cool. <clears throat> all right, so that's all that's in this pack or this pouch. I believe, don't quote, but like I said, this is just out of the box uh, show and tell more so than anything else. I'll be seasoning this over the next uh, few days, and I'll show you how to set it up, how it works, etc., etc. So stay tuned for all that. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like I said, make sure you subscribe, make sure you like, share, and uh, just build the channel as we go. So, 
Until uh, the next one, God bless, take care, we'll see you then.